Hey folks, it's Jake Davis on the Fly Review for you, and today I'm talking about Argyle. Released earlier this month, directed by Matthew Vaughn, starring Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Rockwell, Henry Cavill, Brian Cranston, Catherine O'Hara, John Cena, Dua Lipa, and Samuel L. Jackson. Um, the whole setup here is a neurotic actress of a series of spy novels finds herself uh, in the care of a just, I guess, eccentric spy who's protecting her from a mysterious government agency who all believe that she has the ability to protect the future because of her books. Um, of course, that's not what's actually going on. The film is... Frankly, very lazy and unoriginal. I'm incredibly tempted to just give it all away right here. But I found this movie incredibly disappointing. Um, at well over two hours, this movie is just long and uninspired and repetitive. I thought the action scenes just dragged on. And the one truly good idea they had with this movie, having this over-the-top... Uh, action, over-the-top, uber-violent action hero played by someone, I'm assuming, like Sam Rockwell, was a really good idea. But they don't really utilize or go all in with that. And also, it's like they want to pretend like the spy world is more simplistic and nuanced than what you see in fiction, but then literally everything else is just as over-the-top and insane, doesn't really blend in and match. Uh, and it's just, and then there's the characters. You just don't really give a damn about anybody in this movie. I like Sam Rockwell tries, but he doesn't. But the, the script lets him down. That's been a problem. With this is now the fourth movie I've seen from this year, including Madam Web, The Beekeeper, and Night Swim. And just, just, just the the writing, man. The writing is just so dreadful. Uh. Fuckers, maybe I should have stayed on strike. Um, this uh, I know these movies were made in, way before that. They probably shot Night Swim before she even got her Oscar nomination for Banshees. Uh, Carrie Condon, that is. Uh, but this was just a uh, terrible movie. I, I'll give it two stars because I really think certain several of the cast members, Sam Rockwell, Captain O'Hara, John Cena, all really make an effort. To do something here, but absolutely everybody involved in this movie, even Dua Lipa, deserve better. This is a terrible movie, and also just just horrific visual effects. It's just ugly and gaudy. And you know, Matthew Vaughn's previous films, I didn't like Layer Cake. I thought it was boring and totally forgettable. The um, uh, I loved Kick Ass. And it's been first class. Those were great films. And I think... I thought Kingsman was overrated, to be honest with you. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it in any way. But I thought it was overrated. And I thought both the sequels were horrific. I probably enjoyed this movie more than I liked The Kingsman with Ray Fiennes. Because that was... Ugh, ugh, I can't know. This, my biggest problem with this movie is just long, stupid, and unfunny. A movie that's really, really convinced that it's clever and you're not. And it's not clever, so <laughs> the audience really doesn't have to be. It's a bad movie. A very bad movie and a waste of your time. Uh, I give it one star, and that's purely for the cast alone. I'm Jake Davis. And I'll catch you on the fly.